Okay, so this is Skippy the Canadian Kangaroo. Uh, this, is how, this is how I set up DCS. So, uh, when, so what I'm using is Arch, so the, the commands will be different for you guys, but this is a g generic idea. sudo pacman s, capital S, because, you know, it installs. I need Luchas, Wine, Wine Tricks, and... I believe that is all. That one. Whoosh. I should probably install uh, Steam. Steam as well. Here. Uh, for the stuff that I need, because I have an AMD, that will be Vulcan Radeon. Radeon, there we go. That guy, well, that's doing it. I'm going to boot up Chris. You'll see on the left side, it's got all these things it's got to do. So I'm just going to let that go. Uh, yeah. Okay, monitor. Uh, digital Combat Simulator. Uh, let's see. Downloads, DCS World. 2.9. Download. So this thing is done. I'm just going to restart it. Right here. I'm going to search. Because Lutris has its own thing. But the DCS 2.9, you can do that op operational. Just search up DCS. And you want DCS World. Eagle Dynamics, which is the second one. Continue. It's going to download. I'm going to do a little bit help, uh, a little bit operational. This is the lug helper that we use for Star Citizen, but you can also use it for this. Open the file. Break that onto here. So this guy is going to take a while. So I'm just going to go here, grab this guy, properties, permissions, is executable. I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to launch loghelper.sh. Would you like to run prefactor and install star system? No. Hit OK. It has failed because it's, my system only has 32 gigs. And 512 megabytes swap, so I need 8 gigabytes swap. You can also, uh, you could just hit yes, and it'll it'll adjust this for you. So that's actually useful. Go to that. This is fine. Now I need to find my little command that I had. This will vary upon people, people's systems. Uh, so that, that, grab this guy that I, so uh, sudo swap on show. That's where my swap file is. So you want to sudo swap off slash swap file. Uh, to allocate dash L eight gigabytes swap file sudo okay swap swap file shows that sudo swap on slash swap file there we go now if I go back here Oh, no, I need to restart it because it doesn't check automatically. Doesn't pre cache. So there we go. It's optimized. There we go. Now we're going to go. Well, I got to wait for this thing to finish. But I can do. Well, I guess egg roll, which is the latest. <laughs> Uh, 
No, I don't want to restart it because that'll interrupt that. Now we need this guy. Hit accept. Next. Next. Make sure this is in the C drive. If it's Z, it won't work. You need to have it under C as in Charlie. I'll let it download that. Do this. Next. Next. Remove the desktop icon. Doesn't like uh, for Linux for some reason. Like it actually doesn't show up here. It just goes, hey, yeah, uh, I'm just going to do that. So you don't want to start up the start download yet because Luke just needs to finish first. So you go to hit finish. See, it's installation complete. Close. But here I need to install the DX uh, version, which the Johnny. That's for my system. Hit OK. Yes. It's that. But I need this open again because I need to go here. Configure. Runner. Uh, Wine GE828. It will DXVK. Go to Advanced. Need to change this DXVK version to exactly what it says right there. So that's DXVK dash 2.1. It's good. System options. One. Grab that. Yes, that's correct. Systems system options. Uh, this part is optional, but I'm just going to do it uh, for my own sanity. Because uh, it likes to use Mesa. There we go. Mesa shared our cache. And DXVK. Yeah. So just use this guy. Home. Games, DCS World. Great new folder. Call it cache. This guy, go there, that, there, hit save, start it up. See, it's already getting the uh, shader cache here already. And DXVK will show up there sometime in the future. Give up others. There we go. Now we're just going to let that download. And while that's doing, I'm just going to let it run and pause this. Actually, I just uh, realized something. I do not have open track install. So let's go to the open track releases. Take key, scroll down, build on this. And because this is Pac-Man, you mind <clears throat> uh, So, need sudo pac-man s cmake get gt5 okay. Oh no, qt5 base proc Yes, and G, open C, B. But I also did a issue report. something. Yeah, there it is. Right. And then we also need to grab the open MP. And open X runtime. But that is for tracker and all that, but hey, it doesn't have to, it doesn't hurt to have those. Grab all that. Grab that, paste it here. Uh, CD open track uh, MKDR build which makes the folder 
make directory. Build uh, CMake dot dot. Let this run. There's going to be errors, so yay. Uh, CC make dot. Put onto the SDK line. Hit enter. Uh, quit without generating, which is Q. Make. And then not the semicolon, the other one. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. Uh, make and then make install. Okay, since this thing is almost done building, uh, as you can see, there's like multiple errors here, but you can safely ignore those. You're just missing some dependencies, but we don't really need those dependencies. Ugh, here it goes. Now it's just clarifying and caching. And now the next step is to go to the install bin and then open track. So let's go. Let's go to the home, open track, build. Let's make this guy a little bit bigger. CD install. I can remember how to fucking alphabet. There it is. Install, bin, open track. What you can do here is that you can actually uh, mark this as a favorite. I don't recall on how the hell that's done on here. Or you can just have it start up whenever it's needed. So execute. There it is. Point tracker that is going to be for mine. Output is going to be. Uh oh. My line isn't there, but oh well, I'll I'll be able to fix that later. Uh, so if I go to nope, that if I just go UDP start activate, oh, uh -huh. it works. But I'll have to figure out on the line portion in, in a little bit. Uh. But because I'm using the Dellen Clip, DellenClip.com, great fucking uh, IR tracking, by the way. I use the uh, Pro Series setup. I go down here, profiles, to that. Go stop this, go to profile, open configuration folder, drop those guys in here. Close this, close that, and then just restart open track. And then there's the uh, point tracking. That is the one that I use. And let's see if I can get that one. There it goes. Now it's going to launch it. Games, DCS World, Cache. And now I need to log in. I do not wish to share this information. Play password, auto login, login. Bum 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 bum. See, there's the DXVK cache. There it goes. First time, it'll. It needs to compile everything. Bye. Is everything going to be so loud? You're in helmet, and there we go. As you can see, it's working. grab all that and while that's downloading I'm gonna figure out the uh, wine thing and get that working while it's downloading so be right back okay so I figured it out uh, when I did this SDK wine I didn't regenerate it so when you so 
if you don't if you don't see wine output sorry wine as your output for open track do redo the cc make in the build folder and sdk wine as on and then hit c to configure And then after that's done, hit E to exit, Q without generating, and then we need to do make, and then make install. Okay, that was actually faster than I thought. So go here, go to wine, open track, make sure that is on wine, and then for the for the game to recognize your uh, input from Dellen clip or open track uh, you want to make sure that the runner options is the same as it is to this guy set of system wine you need wine GE 826 which is the same and the prefix is going to be in the DCS world default location which is right here Hit OK, and then there you go. It should work, and I'll show you guys that once this thing is done downloading. All right, just a couple more seconds for this thing to actually finish up. I was going to check all the files. While it's doing that, I am going to start start my tracking. Look. Doo -doo. Now it's going to wait for the game to start up. Go instant action ATC. Call the narc. Try the T Warhog. Here we go. And as you can see, it is working. Aha. This mission starts with a cold and dark gonna... aircraft parked on the ramp. I have to change, the plane. change this a lot, but yeah. There you go guys, here's the video. And that is basically how you do it. Uh, if you got questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you can also find me on the ta Tactical DCS Discord. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link underneath, unless you guys can also just find it yourselves. So, yay! There you go guys.